Are you looking to boost your mood with a little food? Well, the Mediterranean diet may be the perfect solution for you. So stick around to find out what's in these boxes and discover what I eat to put me in a good mood all day long. Hola, I'm Caroline from Mediterranean Minutes. Welcome to the channel where you can learn to eat the Mediterranean way every day, no matter where you live. You probably already heard me talk about the six typical meal times in Spain. An early breakfast, a little mid-morning snack, a hefty late lunch, a light mid-afternoon snack, yet another little snack before dinner, and a light dinner to round things out. But how do we eat all these meals and stay on a healthy track? And which nutrients are going to make us happier doing it? Well, before we can open up all these boxes, I want to spend a minute talking about some really important nutritional keys to boosting your mood, no matter what your meals are like. Number one, keep your blood sugar level on an even keel and avoid sugar spikes and crashes. These can throw your stress hormones out of whack too and definitely have an impact on your mood. Number two, healthy fats. Eat enough healthy fats to keep your nervous system and brain well fed, especially omega-3, mono, and polyunsaturated fats. You might not think your brain relies on healthy fats, but it does. After all, the brain is almost 60% fat. Number three, amino acids. Get in all those essential amino acids because they're the protein building blocks that help you balance your mood, especially ones like tryptophan that converts to a happy hormone, serotonin. Number four, vitamins and minerals. And finally, pack in plenty of anti-inflammatory, antioxidants, and stress buster vitamins and minerals. B1, B6, B9, and B12. Vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, magnesium, potassium, iron, zinc, and selenium. Well, it's a pretty long list, but it's easy to convert into what we eat every day. So it's time to peek inside my personal Happy Meals and see what's on the menu. Early breakfast, desayuno. I can feel good just knowing I'm starting the day off right. And it doesn't mean a giant breakfast, it just means a solid starter. So let's see what's in here. Oh, okay, so we've got a banana. Oh, we've got some yogurt. Favorite way to treat the yogurt is to serve it up with berries. And oh, if I'm looking for something hot, there's oatmeal. And naturally, I absolutely love a little seeds and nuts like chia and sunflower seeds. Mid-morning snack, almuerda. Around about 10 or 10.30, everybody here takes a short break and has a little something. It's just a snack, but long enough to cover them until lunch at two o'clock. Slow burning healthy carbs like whole grain baguette and one of my favorites, my homemade almond butter and apple for good measure. Late lunch, comida. If you watched my video the other day about sweet potatoes, then you'll already know I'm a big fan of these incredibly nutrient dense veggies. And it really puts a smile on my face when I get to pair them up with salmon and spinach and the sweet potato. A great lunch. Let's not forget dessert, fresh pineapple, one of the most popular fruits in Spain. We're halfway through the day, but I want to take a break before we continue to mention three other classic Mediterranean diet ways to boost your mood besides food. Get outside and get some sunshine, otherwise known as good old vitamin D. It's no surprise why we feel better on a sunny day than a cloudy one. Even 30 minutes a day will have you covered to make sure you're getting enough of the super important nutrient. And better yet, take a walk while you're doing it and you'll get in that little bit of exercise that's just as important to a happy frame of mind. And finally, don't forget one of the most important things to enjoy with meals is company. So keep those thoughts in mind while we finish the rest of the day. If you're in Spain, you might be taking a little siesta before we continue the day. But when you get up, it's time for a mid-afternoon snack, merienda. It's about five o'clock, so it's time for another little snack. And if you have the time, even better if it's a snack and chat with friends. You can have a cup of tea, a little espresso, a piece of chocolate, a handful of nuts, all little light things to keep you going during the day. Somewhere around seven o'clock, it's time for a snack before dinner, known as the tapas time. 
I'll admit lots of times this will be the last meal of the day for me, but it's a great opportunity to have things like guacamole with some avocado, a nice platter of tomatoes, nice and fresh and another veggie, sardines, hugely popular here and full of omega-3 fats, and anchovies. And that's it. Even later dinner, finar. Hard to get used to, but dinner is typically served sometime after 8 o'clock at night and more likely at 9 or 10. But it's always something light and simple. So let's see what we've got. Oh, looks like it's time to make an omelet. Got a couple of eggs, a bell pepper, and a pile of mushrooms. And it should go without saying, you need a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to make that omelet special. I don't know about you, but I'm already feeling better just knowing that today's menu is going to put me in a better mood. And if you're looking to improve your outlook too, just start following the Mediterranean diet and start eating this healthy and happy way too. And if you're looking for some inspiration, you can always click on this playlist.